beauty, semantic technology, and many others. So, thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm Jiyoung Kim. Uh, an original speaker was Jiyoung Lee, but she couldn't attend here uh, because of her project. So, I am hopeful for your understanding. Um, <coughs> it's my great, great pleasure to be presenting this topic for you today. And I would like to thank everyone for coming here. And today I would like to present what we wanted to achieve with our scheme, Autonomous Work Diagnosis for Smart Home Network Services. <coughs> Why we chose the, the efficient Autonomous Work Diagnosis to achieve our goal? Um, next, uh, what is the, the autonomous work diagnosis and uh, how we designed and implemented our scheme? Uh, and I will show you the results of measurement. Finally, I will conclude with a summary of our findings. Here is why I chose efficient autonomous for diagnosis. In recent years, there is a tremendously increasing demand on the widespread deployment of smart home network services. In this environment, a wide range of consumer electronics and home appliances on different networks are interconnected. The complexity of the system gives an increased risk of operational failure. Thus, uh, automated for diagnosis without user intervention becomes an important issue. To achieve it, we provide two features. One is a model-based based autonomous for diagnosis system. The other is for diagnosis method by error types. Uh, the system enables for diagnosis transaction to be initiated automatically with no user intervention and to trace possible related resources to find accurate root cause. Uh, so our goal is, our goal is uh, automated for diagnosis without user intervention for smart home network services. Now I'm going to explain what the smart home management architecture is uh, and what the first diagnosis method by error type is and the flow of the autonomous first diagnosis. In this slide, I will explain the smart home management architecture briefly. Uh, this system consists of three modules. The bottom of this figure is home resource data collector. Uh, the second one is home resource management module. And the last one is port management module. For the detailed functions of this module, we can go next slide. Uh, here are functions of proposed system. The Home Resource Data Collector, HRDC, uh, aggregates resource information from the resource interoperability layer, uh, which enables different network resources to communicate with each other. Uh, the Home Resource Management Module, HRM, uh, produces resource list build resource relation map for efficient force traversing and informs the error occurrence when an error exists. And the last one is for management module. It starts for diagnosis using diagnosis handler, transaction handler, and resource probing handler. The diagnosis handler makes decision whether it needs for diagnosis using resource probing or not. The transaction handler performs one of two for detection method 
resource proving or user reporting, depending on error type. For the detail of error types, I will explain next slide. These are first diagnosis methods by error types. <clears throat> With this table, our system finds first diagnosis method easily. For example, when the diagnosis handler module receives device no response error message, uh, this module find, finds first diagnosis method by using this table. <clears throat> this, in this table, we can easily find device no response error type and the diagnosis method is resource proving. From this table, uh, the diagnosis handler requests device probing to the resource probing handler module. On the other case, case such as water error, the diagnosis handler directly sends send error message to the user, user reporting. Here is the flow of the, the autonomous first diagnosis. This slide shows the sequence of processing the, the autonomous first diagnosis by using resource proving method. Uh, when the HRM, uh, Home Resource Management, receive error message from a coffee machine, it requests first diagnosis automatically to the uh, fourth management in step three. The diagnosis handler in the FM identifies error types and then make a decision on a specific diagnosis method using table. Mm. In the step six, the resource proving handler collects observation of operational behavior to identify 40 devices, network components, or smart service exactly. Uh, additionally, monitoring other resources having relationship with the copy machine, such as uh, network link, or smart hub. After that, uh, it can receive proving results from the HRDC in step 7 and it determines the root cause and notifies that to the user. I'm going to explain autonomous fault devices, fault diagnosis test bed I used and experimental results. For the autonomous port diagnosis test bed, first we designed an apartment unit. In this unit, we added a smart home management system with autonomous port diagnosis function. And then we installed power outlet devices, AV devices, and consumer electronic devices, including OLED lights fan, and so on. Uh, also for the network monitoring, we place two smart hubs which aggregate network information, such as network inter interface up or down. For monitoring and receiving for diagnosis results, we place the mobile home pad. This slide shows Resource proving one by one according to the resource relation map uh, provided by the smart home resource management module when error occurred. Now we will see experimental results to evaluate the accuracy and effect effectiveness of our autonomous for diagnosis, 
we've measured the result of each dialysis transaction as so shown in this slide. Uh, experiment has been carried out with a home management application in the smart pad. Um, the transaction ID 1837 shows the automatic dialysis process and exact result clearly. When the FM receives cast of device board from the copy machine, it completes research probing about copy machine at first. In addition, it has continuously traced other resource having relationship with copy machine. The reason why we trace the related resource is that the problem of copy machine can be caused by next network error or other problems. Thus, from the transaction ID 1A37, we can verify the cause of copy machine's error is not its one problem, but the network link problem. On the other hand, the transaction ID 1838 shows the fault of Smart Hub 2 is caused by its own device problem. Yeah, in conclusion, uh, we proposed a uh, we proposed a model based autonomous fault diagnosis system coupled with the smart home management system. The system enables a full diagnosis transaction to be initiated automatically with no user intervention. Also, the system enables a full diagnosis transaction to trace possible related resources to find accurate root cause. The key feature of our proposed system are to monitor resource information and event message continuously and to initiate diagnosis immediately and automatically. The experimental result of the proposed system have provided the good evidence of prompt and efficient for diagnosis for various smart home services. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you.